Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to our look back at 2020. And you might be sitting there thinking, what on earth are we going to see this year has been so different to what we thought and the usual things that we thought would happen have not. But actually, as I thought back over the year and Laura has been looking through social media and also asking that question, we have realised how much we've done and how much we have grown and changed as well over this time. And so we give thanks to God for all of that. Many things that we hoped would happen this year have not been able to go ahead. We have had to change and diversify. We've had to move online. We've had to send out things to people um, who are unable to connect online. We've had to do many different things this year and some things we've just had to scale back because they are not possible at this time. But even with that, many things have happened. And some of those are things for our church, some are things for our community, and some are just individual acts of kindness, showing the light of Jesus in our community, as people have looked out for those in need and those who might be isolated. I would just like to offer my huge thanks, to, to give my huge thanks to our wonderful church family. So many people have just stepped up this year um, to change what we're doing, to support me, but more importantly, to support our church community and our village. And I'm so grateful because we are in the place we're in, because people have stepped up, used their gifts and skills and have offered to do things in different ways this year. So thank you so much. And thank you to those that have gone along for the journey with us, for the ride with us, because we didn't know what things were going to look like as we tried out new and different things, but people have been willing to try. So thank you for doing that and thank you for being part of our church family and just looking to try and keep us together um, in this very strange year. We want to give thanks to God for this year and you might think, well, what on earth are we giving thanks to God for? But actually so much has happened and so many wonderful things have happened. And I could think about our food bank. I could think about our children's work. I could think about our youth work. I could think about what Mother's Union have done to reach people and continue to pray for other people. I could think about our explorers. I could think about our children's work. I could think about our online Sundays and our in church on Sundays and many more things besides. Our home group have continued to meet. We have had Simply Church as a series trying to think ahead about what we've wanted to do. And I won't be mentioning all the things that you are involved in. So I apologise for that, but they are not forgotten. Um, I'm just really grateful that people have just been willing to try new ways and we've been able to connect in different ways as well. So that is fantastic. And we give God glory and thanks and praise for all that we have been able to do this year. So let's just take a moment as we think back on 2020. It's going to come with many different memories, uh, some good and some not so good. But let's just take a moment to quiet and then I will pray. Loving God, we give you thanks for 2020. It has been the strangest year, certainly, of my life, and we know that much has changed during this time. But we thank you that through the change, through the diversity, through the different things that we have been enabled to do and have had to do, you have been with us through each and every one of those. And for that, we just give you our thanks and our praise today. Father, we remember that in this year there have been many losses. There have been losses of lives and members of our church family are no longer with us and for that we are very sad. We know that people have lost jobs and livelihoods, that plans that were in place have not been able to take place. And so we come also at the end of this year grieving some of our losses this year because this year has affected each and every one of us. But we also thank you that through those difficult times you have been there and you hold us fast. And we look to 2021 and we have no idea what is going to happen in this year to come. But we give thanks that you do know, that you have walked in front of us and you go with us. And so I pray, Father, in this year that you will make us people who are willing to be challenged, people who are willing to be thinking outside the box, people who are looking at where do you want to take us. So as we move into a new year, Father, just fix our eyes on you, open our ears to hear your call and just open our hearts to know the people and the places that you want to send us to be with. 
I want to give thanks for our church family, our amazing church family, and for this community of Yaxley. And we thank you that your Holy Spirit is living and breathing through us, in us and with us. And I just praise you, Father, and just lift these prayers to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I hope that you've had a good Christmas. I have no doubt that it was probably very different from the one that you thought you might be having a year ago. And perhaps you had less people. Perhaps you made difficult decisions this year. But I pray that as we move into 2021, that we know God's blessing with us. We know that he is working with us and in us. And as we move into a new year, there'll be new possibilities. We couldn't have imagined a year ago what we would be able to do this year. And so we just come at this point giving thanks and praise, but also remembering those who we have lost and those people who have, have lost uh, during this year. Look after yourselves and stay safe. Um, I just wish you a very happy new year as we move into 2021. Um, and I just send my love and my blessings to you. Take care and God bless. It's the evening of Wednesday the 18th of March and we're just a few days after the changes that the government have brought in in terms of people self-isolating and also our guidance from our Archbishops about the fact that we can no longer gather together for collective worship or for our groups. Hello to all our young people at St Peter's Church, we really, really miss you. Oh, hello. 
Hello. You caught me by surprise a bit. I was just looking for something um, because I, I, I've lost my glasses and I'm, I'm really not sure what I've done. He was worried about wild animals and robbers. Suddenly, some robbers jumped out at, at him, knocked him down. Can you guess what they are? Amen! Good morning and a very warm welcome. It's six o'clock on Easter Sunday morning and we're standing in our front garden.
Once again, we would like to thank all those who've supported us in so many ways. Those who donate food, those who give their time to enable us to open, and those who've supported us financially. We know that there are also many who support us behind the scenes without us knowing who you are. We can only give to those in need because you have first given to us. We thank you all. Welcome, Laura. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Great. Fantastic thing about the Explorers. It is about linking everybody together and joining all those dots and being a real community. Loving God, I give you thanks that we can gather together even though we might be remotely gathering this evening. But we can gather together in prayer and we gather together as part of your body with people in this village, with people across England and wider than that. And we give you thanks for the amazing gift that is prayer. And he promised that where two or three are gathered, that you are there. And even though we may be just one of us in person in a home, we are gathering together in prayer to bring the concerns of the world to you, to bring the concerns of our heart to you.
your baby boy has walked where angels trod. When you kiss your little baby, you kiss the face of God. Citizens of Judea, you will be aware that recent events have been costing your Roman superiors a great deal of money. The self-checkout. <laughs> if this king is who we think he is, then this night will be remembered for many years to come, for he is the king of all the world.